What's up everyone, it is C. Bakari, and welcome to the Scania in Sodertalje, Sweden. We are going to be hauling this trailer down to Malmo in Sweden. Check out our truck. We're going to do a quick walk around here. Everything seems in order. This is proof that this trailer is from Sweden, from the Scania factory. We are taking... 20,000 pounds of empty barrels to the Yotun in Malmo. We don't have to deliver till tomorrow morning. Uh, we need to take a break anyway. Just down the road, so let me just sit back here. Let me just talk a bit louder so you can hear me and stuff. Release our parking brake. Make sure that the pedals are working. And let's go! Okay, so... There's the uh, Scania sign. That's cool. It's like the Hollywood sign, kind of. But it's the Scania sign, obviously. Alright, we're hauling this down to Malmo in Sweden, so you'll get a nice view of Sweden. I'm gonna wait. I didn't see you, dude. Alright, hold on. I'm currently coasting the engine right now. Which is not a good idea, because this is kind of a bit of a hill, but it's not too big of a hill. It's very, it's like an unnoticeable hill. Alright, left turn. Right toward Helsingborg. Helsingborg. Yeah, we need to get, we need to get rest, because we are running out of hours to drive. So there is a gas station just down the road here. Which, let's just haul it up this hill. And we'll be on the E route. Hopefully people will be driving faster than this on the E route. Sorry dude, huge haul coming through. Actually it isn't that huge of a haul, but... Anything that gets us to lose our momentum is not good. And I seriously do not know why Bring Cellular has trailers. Why? To haul the phones that you need to haul? AT&T doesn't do that. Uh, the weirdness of the world. Seriously, AT&T doesn't advertise the company that hauls their phones. And Samsung. I mean, I've car companies obviously do it. <sighs> there we go. There's the Scania factory. You, uh, you saw the Scania emblem. And we're hauling this stuff in our Mercedes. Thug life. Seriously thug life right there. Yep, so we're coming up on a quick rest area slash gas station, but uh, as you can see, we don't need any fuel. But I'm gonna refuel the truck anyway. Why? Well, I don't know when we're gonna be hitting another gas station to be honest. This truck doesn't have too good of a fuel tank, so might as well just refuel whatever chance we get. Weird that there's a three car pile up right near a rest area for everybody to watch. Wow. That is just the coincidence that you just never get sometimes. Alright. There we go. Yeah, we don't need that much fuel, but might as well fuel up. Even though we just fueled up in Poland. Alright, we just gotta head over there. That's where we'll be parking for the night. Of course, this box truck here is going to make things a bit difficult. But we'll manage. I'll take it wide so we don't block the road too much. Come on. 
Okay, so it's allowing us to rest. Good. What time is it going to be when we wake up? 3 a.m. Perfect time to hit the road. Let's go. Technically, the perfect time to be hitting the road would be at, uh... I'd rather hit the road around 4 a.m. 4.30, but at 3 a.m. is good enough. The times aren't consistent in Euro Truck as they are in American Truck, so it's really hard to get a specific time where you're normally up and at it. Whereas in American Truck, you can kind of coordinate that. In Euro Truck, you know, the times change. I mean, you saw last time we were, well, then again, you know, we shifted times. So, you know, he, but. All right, so we have seven hours of before we arrive, and we have 10 out, 11 hours, 11 fresh hours of remaining drive time, which means that that's a good combination. Because it means that while we have drive to the next location, we'll be able to finish this trip, pick up another trip in Malmo, and be able to do that in the next episode of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Yay! All right. So this is going to take us across Sweden. The sun's coming up. Uh, we're traveling west, southwest, and the sun rises in the east. Damn it! Okay, well, we can make light of the situation. Just uh, look out the mirror. Better yet, you'll probably be looking out that mirror, to be honest. Because that'll be facing towards the east a bit better. So, you know, I'll, sh I'll turn around every once in a while. I'll go with this view. It'll be all good. You'll get to see the sunrise, even though, you know, we're going the wrong way and stuff. trailer 3 a.m. through the e-routes of Scandinavia. Sweden to be exact. I think in upcoming episodes of Euro Truck we're going to also be exploring going east a bit and then I'm gonna just want to get out of the area to be honest. Okay, so there's not going to be any really one-lane roads that we're going to have to take. It's just pretty much all two-lane roads that we've got to take. Just e-routes, basically. There's some fighter jet statues over there. That's cool. Get around this bobtailer. We had to bobtail from a Leanne Sham or whatever, the port the Stockholm port town or whatever it's called in the SGM or something. It sounds more Arabic than Sweden, than Swedish, or Nordic, or whatever. You call these people over here. Finlanders, Norwegians, Danish. People, Danish, what do you call Danish people? It's weird to call them Danishes because it sounds like I'm calling them a dessert. I don't want to call people desserts, because that's that's weirder than calling people, you know, obese and stuff. Because you're basically calling them what makes people obese, which... It... Dude, you saw my left turn signal, you knew I was going to cut in front of you because I wasn't slowing down. And you don't even bother. Look, if I'm not slowing down... And I'm coming up to a car, well then again, he can't see the car in front of me, so then again, I can't really blame the guy. Yeah, we had to bobtail to get to, uh, to get to the Soder Talige because I wasn't just gonna s This taxi driver's brave. He doesn't even, he just slows down and lane merges. Like it's nothing, and then all of a sudden just flies. Wow. Okay. At least have some momentum while you're overtaking, at least. I mean, really. A couple 
cars want to get past me, so let's hope that moving over for a couple, for, for a quick bit will get them around me. But, did it do crap? So let's get back in before this guy crashes into us. Oh god, now there's this slowpoke car that might have it in for us. Unless, thank god, dude. I had to cut off that Volvo to make sure I didn't crash into you, dude. Are you sure you're okay? Why do we see that there is a trailer in front of us that says OK Diesel or whatever? What does it say? Hold on. Altid Billy. OK, 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 OK. Wow, and I'm like saying, are you OK? And there's a trailer that says OK? If you're from Turkey or wherever, you're probably thinking, oh my god, I would have never th that you, we make jokes like that all the time. Because I have Turkish trailer packs in this in this game, even though there should not be any Turkish trailers in Sweden. You know. <laughs> but still, get in front of this van here. Let's get back in. Could have slept here, but to be honest, we were not making it here before we had to sleep. We would have been overdue on our hours. It was better. Oh wow, they shut their lights off at 4:57 in the morning. Because in in stock Euro truck, they always turned off it. They always turn on at 8 p.m. and they turn off at, at 6 a.m. But now they're turning on like 8.50, 8.52 p.m. And they're turning off... Wait, did I say off or on before? I, I hope I said on. I think I said on. Are you kidding me, people? Move it. Move it. You made me slam on my brakes, and now I have to speed back up to 50. Thanks a lot. Classic. No significant damage on the trailer just yet. I said on the trailer, not on the truck, because I'm sure that there'll be damage on the truck at some point. But the trailer normally doesn't get damaged, so hopefully that will be good. We still got a while to drive, so it might be good, it might not. Let's make sure that we can get the cruise back up to 50 and stuff. go. Dude, get you back off of it. We need to get in that lane. Might as well. You're not getting, you're not moving any faster than you are. Apparently, you can get to Finland by ferry from here. I guess this is some sort of Finnish ferry port. But we're nowhere near the damn water. And Finland is somewhere over here. Uh, actually, Finland is... Hold on. I don't know where Finland is, to be honest. I think Finland's... They don't map Finland very the correctly here. I, Finland's supposed to be here. But it's showing it as water. I don't understand anymore. Sweden, I thought, borders Finland. If I don't get in the left lane, I'm not going to be able to get past this van and this car here. So let's, because that there'll be people overtaking us, and we will. Basically, you have to fight for your right to overtake, is basically what I'm saying. If you want to get in front of drivers, you know, you got to think of who you're overtaking and stuff. Tuesday at 5.37. This is pretty busy. To be honest. Even in New York City, it doesn't start hauling that bad until, I don't know, 6.50, 7 a.m. It doesn't start hauling that bad. Alright. Anybody? Nobody wants to get past? 
Well, it doesn't matter because there's a van we need to get past anyway. So let's just get past that van. Why should we slow down? It's only one car. More van that we need to get past. Why slow down? It sounds really stupid to you know, slow down and stuff. I'm really curious on how they, how they, you know, get the trailer packs. I mean, I understand, you know, in order, you can see the sun rising here, uh, in order to get the trailers, I think all you need to know what trailers to get, all you need to really do is just study which trailer. So, for example, in the U.S., you just need to find different trailer companies, for example, CR England, NFI, Swift, Maersk, uh, Schneider, U.S. Express Enterprises, uh, what else? Prime Inc. That's a big one, too. Uh, what else is there? Walmart, Target. Come on, there's more companies than that. There's gotta be. Uh, Gordon. I'm trying to think of other companies. Uh, there's one that I'm missing. Uh, Roadrunner. What's that other company? I, I, I know that there's this big company that I'm forgetting right now. Never yelling at me right now. Uh, there we go. Here we drive. Um, what is it? How did I forget? CRST, KLLM. Uh, Alright, that's enough. But you get what I mean. You would just have to pretty much gather those trailer companies and well, I forgot, you know, Crete and Schaefer and Zimmerman and Central and WEL. Kind of forgot those companies as well. But yeah, if you just, you just gotta gather up those companies and just, you know, put them on trailers. And then, you know, put them in the trailer packs. And then if you want Canadian trailers, then you get LTI, Bison, and all those other companies. LTI Italy, Bison. I think it's called LTI Italy, but I'm not sure. Uh, I've, I tried looking at the companies when I was in Canada for like an hour and a half, but it, I, I didn't really see too many. I mostly saw... Uh, I mostly just saw cargo that was being hauled on a flatbed or plane trailers. I didn't really see too many, you know, box trailers like this Scania trailer or like a Mark trailer in the U.S. or Prime or Swift or U.S. Express Enterprise or Carlisle in the U.S. Those are trailer companies in the U.S. I'm not good with Europe. In fact, I haven't been in Europe in five years was going to go this year, but stuff happened and I never went. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. It was just a series of events. And I am not putting this by those of what happened on YouTube because I'm just not. If maybe I was a bit more popular of a YouTuber, maybe I would. But when I get more popular, I'll, sh I'll probably share more info. Until then, there's really no point. No one's gonna hear this. Maybe at least, I don't know, 20 people will hear it. And probably the 20 views that I'm getting anyway, most of them are probably gonna be people watching this five times over, so it doesn't really matter. But by people, I do not mean me. Because believe me, I try to avoid watching my videos to stop adding views. If I wanna watch my own videos, I watch them on the recording software. Pretty much. If I want to watch my own videos. If I don't want to watch my own videos, what I do is I just don't watch my videos. I make more videos. I already have, what, 150-something videos on my channel anyway? I'm still in this lane, I guess. I don't know what to do. Because, you know, the semi in that lane. I'm gonna see if I can budge my way in front of this van. Though, because this lane, 
Thanks, dude. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I'll, I'll, I'll chug it down here. I'll chug it down with everyone else. Believe me, I've only got 20,000 pounds behind me. Which is pretty good. And the semi just moved over. Which means it's pretty much smooth sailing in this lane. Come on. Come on, Mercedes. Chug it. Chug it. Come on. Chug. In fact, just to make sure that I don't have to go back, I'm just going to put the speedometer on here. Goes green and silent. Wow, that's a good motto. That's a really good motto, to be honest, dude. Considering you're in speeding, well, no surprises there. But then again, it would be better if you heard it probably in Finland. Because I think they're doing their best. Finland and Denmark, I think, are the sources of green power. It might be Sweden. Sweden's just a rich country. Uh, Finland, I know, has like water towers and stuff. And Denmark, I think, is also pretty good at the stuff. Also, the Netherlands is also pretty impressive with the wind power and stuff. If I move over now, I will not be able to get past the maintenance vehicle and the two and the two semis and the other cars. Everybody's moving over for our rig, so you know, wrong button. There we go. We now have our fuel levels on there. Everyone's moving over so that our semi can get through. Which is really nice because I do not want to sit behind these people. You should be going the speed limit, Mr. XLBYGG. If you change those two G's to an O and B, you can maybe be good at some social interaction. But yeah, you're not just trying to do a play on words there, but I... If you're under 13, then you probably didn't get that joke. Alright, so... Looks like these cars are chugging it along at a good pace, and I need to get, you know... I need to give some people a chance to get past us. Like this... UPS truck. I'm going to the shoulder. I don't care at this point. Because honestly, I'm, I'm so tired of this at this point. Just let those cars get past without any problems because, well, that guy's just gonna slam on his brakes to get off at that exit. Stupid. All right, we have an hour to, of driving left to go, and we are just in time for delivery, which is good. Because it means that... Oh god, we gotta get off here. Don't want to go toward Helsingborg. We want to head towards... You know... Malmo. I'm thinking about getting Pro Mods. Speaking of Helsingborg and Helsingborg, I'm thinking about getting Pro Mods so I can drive in Finland. But, uh... I haven't had good experiences with the mod downloading, so I'm really not sure. I've tried doing that stuff a lot of times, it just never works. And I've tried it, and I've followed people's instructions, and it's just never freaking worked. So, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Unless you have suggestions uh, or cool stuff, I would suggest not going in the comment section, especially if you want to talk about Instagram. Because I do not care about your Instagram. I mean, I'm not against Instagram. Uh, my friends use Snapchat. Uh, 
I don't use Snapchat because I feel that it would take a lot of time out of my day and out of the things that I enjoy doing, like truck simulator. It feels like if I do Snapchat or Instagram, all I'm going to be doing is Instagram, 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 Instagram. And you're thinking, well, how is that not the case with YouTube? And I'm going to say, well, to be honest, the longest thing that it takes on YouTube is, you know, I don't add any special effects into my videos because my video is just purely commentary, so I don't really need to add anything interesting into the videos. I mean, I do have to cut certain parts out, because if I didn't cut certain parts out, then you'd have to listen to me struggle every time, I don't know, I was having trouble loading a game, and you'd have to sit there. I used to show you me firing up the game and, you know, loading it and stuff, but now I just cut that stuff out. It was stupid of me to, uh, to show you that, especially with the old PC. Aye, 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 aye. Now, I thought that we had the truck on economy mode. I... Wait, that's not what I wanted. Hold on a second. Yeah, I do have it on economy mode. What the crap? Oh, by the way, that's our wheel. Come on! I can't even use the pedal to get up this hill. I'm literally using the keyboard right now, and I'm using the wheel to get up this hill. I'm not using the pedals. Hold on. we go okay we are in malmo welcome to malmo folks welcome to malmo nobody waiting no reason to wait in this line. oh wait my fault my my fault completely my fault okay roundabout time We are here at the Yotun. I'm not gonna park it, I just wanna pull in like a trucker. And then I wanna park it. All parked up. Excellent trip. Perfect. We are in Malmo. There's no rest area nearby. So here's the plan. I'm gonna go find out about our- hold on. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna go find out about our next trip, and on the way we'll go stop at a rest area. And I'll get right back to you. Racking $4,000 $3,000 in repairs, $4,000 in repairs, because I accidentally hit that thing. So I got these new side skirts and stuff. And uh, we're gonna bobtail it down to Denmark, and I'll see you uh, later in the trip. Alright, we are on the E route, headed toward Denmark. Oh yeah. Just saw that train down there. One cool thing about driving, uh, we got a long drive down to where we gotta go, and we've got, well, it's been a long episode, so I don't really want to hold you for a while. So, there's a toll booth anyway. I'll take, I think this is a good tool, but I'm not so sure. Crap. Shoot. Is that e-toll? No, 
this is Eton, thank God. 172 euros to cross this bridge? Are you kidding me? It doesn't cost that much to drive over the most... It doesn't cost that much to go over the friggin' San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge. It doesn't cost, like, a sixth of that to get on that bridge. You're telling me I gotta pay 172 euros? Take this bridge. Oh, well, I gotta say, they do expect Sweden, they do expect Swedish folk over here to make a load of money. Because, well, I mean, you're expecting people to be able to get what, what amount of dollars? Like, I don't know. 50, 60 dollars out of their pockets? Are you freaking kidding me? I am not standing for your crap. Seriously. You see some bobtail coming up on you? You move over. I don't care that I'm going fast in the speed limit. There's a car speed limit on this, isn't there? I still understand why bobtailers can't drive car limits, to be honest. We should be able to drive car limits on these e-routes. I mean, we're not hauling anything. Two hundred thirty-four euros. Not even go through the auto pass, and I had to pay a speeding fine. So basically. I just got, like, the, the giant bill just there. Wow. Okay, so that was that. So let's just enjoy this bridge. I guess. I mean, all we're gonna be doing is just getting past drivers, pretty much, is all we're doing. Uh... I don't know if we're going to be able to get to Esper's before we have to rest, or if we're going to have to rest on the way. And then we'll just have to see what kind of assignments they got in the morning. Are there any places to rest there if I can make it there on time? Mm, no. No places to rest. So I'm going to have to rest either before, or I'm going to have to rest run the gun, and, uh, and not rest. Good. Oh, dense, it's 9 p.m., and it's time to haul our next load out of here. We're gonna get the hell out of Sweden, and the hell out of, wait, we're not even in Sweden, we're in Denmark. Walk around before we end the episode. This will be what we will be hauling next episode. But until then, I will see you in the next episode.